From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather in today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good afternoon. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Cameron Harden. Well, we saw a decent amount of snowfall during the overnight hours. Two to three inches fell in some places. For the, throughout the rest of the day, we will be staying dry. Temperatures, though, very chilly, right around that 35, 36 degree mark. Only seeing an afternoon high right around 38 degrees. Plus, you add in those winds, 15, 20 miles per hour. Those wind chills are very chilly. We warm up a little bit into the weekend. I mean, we hit the 40 degree mark. That's still 11 degrees below our average, though. And then we stay in the 30s all throughout next work week until we hit 45 degrees on Thanksgiving. Terrence Lee here with your top stories. The man convicted of killing a Cleveland police officer in a hit and run on I-90 will spend 12 years in prison. The judge giving Israel Alvarez the maximum sentence after hearing emotional pleas from David Fahey's family and colleagues. A judge also ordering Alvarez to never drive again. Police are still looking for the suspects in a deadly carjacking at a Cleveland church Thursday. They say Leslie DeJesus was run over while she and her husband tried to stop the suspects from getting away with their minivan. And the van was later found on Denison Avenue. Police arrested the third suspect in the murders of a Bedford father and daughter uh, last month. Investigators say Quentin Palmer is now accused of robbing Paul and Paris Bradley's home, along with Ronald Newberry and Cody Gibson, and then killing the two. Their bodies were later found in a burning car in East Cleveland. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for breaking news and alerts. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.